Ariel Helwani post fight at UFC 162 alongside Stormin Norman Park, who just defeated Kazuki Tokudomi tonight. And Norman, congratulations on your first win post the Ultimate Fighter Smashes. I know you waited a long time to get this win. Were you happy with it? Um, not really. I was kind of forced then to go into Plan B, where it was just to grind them out and then force the decision win, which was kind of worried at the start because the game plan was to pressure him right off the bat, put him in the back foot, and hope for him to make that mistake so I could capitalize on it. I nearly got it in the second round. I was trying to finish him hard in the second round and I thought Mr. Tarn out a little bit, but it was tough, it was, it was resilient, and uh, I was just forced into just, just grinding him out. But he was, he's a tough kid, definitely. The left was connecting a lot. That was good for you. Were you happy with that? And were you expecting that? No, no, I, I, wanted, I wanted to throw punches and bun bunches, but I got caught into whenever I'm, whenever I'm fighting an orthodox fighter, it's just the single punches that land, but you can't do that against a southpaw as well. You have to throw punches and bunches. And, you know, it's, I was just going back to my ways of fighting orthodox fighter, but no matter, I still, I still got the win, but uh, it's not the one that I was looking for. He has somewhat of an interesting style, and it's one that you're familiar with because of your judo background, his judo background. Was that tough for you, or was that easy for you to neutralize that? No, it was tough. Eh? I think that's the first time I was ever took down in a fight and held down for a while, so I knew I had to battle my way back up. He had good, a good posture, good base, and I was like, I think it was the first round he had me down for about a minute. I thought, I need to get my ass up here or else I'm going to lose this round. So, you know, it just, it just pushed through. It was a tough training and alliance that pushed me through the fight, and I'm happy to get the win. In the third round, even, you, you, you held on to the cage during a take. Yeah. Was that instinctual? Thankfully, at least for you, they didn't take away a point, but why'd you do that? Well, as, as they say in the game, you do whatever you can to, to, to get the win, and, you know, you're forced into doing these things at certain times, and I was lucky it nearly cost me the fight, but... Luckily, the ref never took the point off, but you know, I'll know next time not to get myself in that situation where I have to grab on the fence and make sure I'm controlling the fight every time. He had his best round in the third. How concerned were you with what he was doing out there? He was tagging you a lot more than in the first two rounds. Well, it caught me a good. I think it was straight left, right hook or straight left uppercut, and he rocked me a little bit. I had to take a step back, and he was I saw him stuck me down, and I was forced in to try and take him down. But he had a good takedown defense as well. From that comes from that judo background. He's got good balance. But I just, I just was forced into just, um, just making it a dirty, gritty fight, and it worked for me. So based off this, you go back to Alliance. What do you need to work on the most, in your opinion? Just in everything, really. I think, you know, maybe the six months old was just a little bit rusty. I'm not making no excuses, but maybe it was because I was GD fighting San Jose about a few months ago. But, you know, I'm, uh, I've got all the tools there. I just, I just need to get it under the cage and still win. It's a win on my record, so I move on to the next one. And, Hope to make it a bit more convincing, not let it go to the judges. Norman, congratulations. Looking forward to the next one. Thank you very much. Pleasure.